Um, just briefly, this this project was started, uh, and this is something you can't read on um, the artist statement or the um, press release. But this project was started about five years ago, and it um, started out as a collaboration between me and my middle child, who was four at the time. And during that time, my eldest child was terribly ill and we were in and out of the hospital and any work or artwork that I was doing at the time had to stop. So I gave my middle child a camera and just so he can entertain himself. And he started taking a number of photographs and they all were of me, of different, um, different stages throughout that time and that process that we were in and out of the hospital with my eldest child. And at that time too, um, I was reading this book called Art and uh, Intimacy, and it basically argues that the way we receive art is the same way that we feel about being in love or relationships, and we have um, a predisposition to engage in artwork in that same way. And not talking about romantic love, but a type of love that we have between mother and child, a mutuality, where um, when a mother is holding an infant or a caregiver is holding an infant, we have this aesthetic approach of interacting with them. And what was interesting to me at the time, and reflecting upon these photographs that my son was taking, was the proximity that my son had. Always a certain distance between me and my face, and also the different angles. Many of these, as you see, are you know funny faces and um, exaggerated. Um, looking away, but these are angles that a young child looks up at their mother or caregiver. And I thought about how, if this was true, this mutuality, this understanding and appreciating art had to do with um, our basic love and appreciation for art, that that first interaction it establishes our aesthetic values and, um, and what he was showing me here. So, in translating that and in taking these images throughout that time and rendering them, I brought in my own part into it where I approached them realistically and then I dissolved them because I also think that's something that happens when we grow up. Um, we change our aesthetic values, we change our the way we see the world, and then we rebuild it. You know, and it's that constant flux that we do as artists and it's you know just as humans, that we are constantly changing our perspective of the world. Um, so many of these that you see, all the self-portraits, have a lot to do with that. The, um, the family portraits that we have here, um, these three are from my in-laws, <laughs> their family, and um, again, I think represent that way of seeing mother interaction and the different ways that motherhood can be observed and perceived. And that one is from uh, my father's family um, and uh, had quite a bit to do with um, his own mother and uh, her history with her family. Um, so are there any questions? Yeah, is there a name for this kind of like texture on these? I best describe it as crawling, <laughs> where what happens here, it looks like a fingerprint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was larger, yeah. Um, basically, it's what the linseed oil will do or, and or turpentine will do when mixing with the pigment and sitting on a canvas. So, you were talking about when you yeah, brought these out that they, the, the paintings themselves are tacky. And it's because the linseed oil never truly dries. It's constantly moving. And so I've had some of these paintings where there will be movement after a year or so. And the painting will shift. But that's part of what I'm doing here. Okay. Is that kind of um, evolving movement. So it's not... Something that you meant to put there, just something that like happened. Oh no, I meant to you put meant there. To put that yeah, there. yeah. 